The nomination of aspirants for parliamentary seats for people with disabilities was a low-key affair. Unlike the direct seats, the MPs will be voted by an electoral college. Most of the aspirants who were nominated on day one are sitting MPs. These include Safia Narule Juko for the female central region slot. She spoke of some of the key issues she would focus on if re-elected. Tell them to ensure that every time the budget process starts, they participate in the budget process and they ensure that the budget they bring to parliament for approval is gender and disability sensitive. The other incumbents who are also seeking to be members of the 10th parliament include William Nkorach for Northern Region and Helen Grace Asamo for Eastern Region. Uh, we need to talk about the education of persons with disabilities. We need to talk about the economic empowerment of persons with disabilities. We need to look into the equal opportunity for persons with disability in all government programs. And these are very important issues that we want to address. We have different categories of disabilities. You are going to meet the physical, you are going to meet the deaf, you are going to meet the blind, and each of them have different needs. So as a leader, you have to see how you can look at it. For Former State Minister for Elderly and Disability Affairs, Florence Naiga, is seeking to make a comeback into Parliament. She previously served as the Kayunga Woman MP. So I'm here to come to be the voice of people with disabilities to ensure implementation, enforcement, and so that people with disabilities benefit from the programs. I want to work with the people with disabilities themselves. More aspirants are expected for the nomination tomorrow. We have not rejected anybody so far. Most of the people, all of them that came, had the requirements that we need for nomination. And we hope that wherever they are going, we are wishing them success. The exercise closes at 5 p.m. People with disabilities have five seats in the house, just like the youth, workers, and Emmy are referred to as special interest groups.